Hi there smart monkeys and welcome to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, um, this is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into maths masters. I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. In this video I'm literally just going to do a quick video on explaining the difference between theoretical probability and relative frequency. Right, so we're going to jump right in. This is the second lesson on probability and in this lesson I just want to sort of drive home the understanding um, of the difference between relative frequency and theoretical probability. Now in lesson one the entire video was on theoretical probability. So this is just really explaining and it's going to be a very short video the difference between relative frequency and theoretical probability. Okay, so if you think of um, relative frequency, relative frequency is essentially based on an experiment that's been done. Okay, so you are looking at the experiment, you are seeing what the outcomes actually are, and you are recording those. Where probability is really just sort of a guess or calculating the chance of something taking place. So the one is based on actual event and actual experiment, and the other one is based on the chance of something happening. Okay, so that's just the first thing that I want you to sort of take note. But how do we apply this? So a nice example for me to show you and explain this concept to you is by doing a little experiment of tossing a coin. So let's say we decide to toss a coin 500 times and record the outcome. So there's only two outcomes for each coin toss, and that's going to be heads or tails. So we do this 500 times and then we actually record the data. So heads we land on 226 times and tails we land on 274 times in total of the 500. So again this is based on an actual experiment that we are doing. So the relative frequency then, or the question is what is the relative frequency of the coin landing on heads so relative frequency means how many times will you land on the heads? How many times did you land on the heads versus how many experiments um, were actually done in total? So here you'll see that it will be 226 times is how many times you landed on heads out of the 500. So the relative frequency of landing on a, he a, he a head in this case was 0.452. Then the second one is, what is the relative frequency that the coin lands on the tail? Okay, so again, we do the same thing. It's 274 over 500, and that's 0 0.548. Okay, so that's how we do the relative frequency. Now, the theoretical probability, which is going to be easy for you to do because we've covered it in the previous section, but the question would say, what is the probability of a coin landing on heads? So if you have a coin in your hand, right, and you toss it, what is the chance that you land on heads? Because there's one, there's only one of two options, the chance is going to be a half, which is 0 0.5, which is going to be exactly the same for tails. Okay, so the important thing to note here is theoretical, again, we're guessing what is the chance, okay? And um, so in both cases, 0 0.5. So if we look at the relative frequency, you'll see that it will be based on the calculations in the previous slide, it's 0 0.452 and 0 0.548. So the important thing here that you need to understand is the higher the number of trials in an experiment, the closer the relative frequency will become, will come to the theoretical probability. So in other words, the more times we do this experiment of the coin tossing, so let's say I decide to um, toss this coin five um, or uh, a thousand times, right? Or 10,000 times or 1 million sort of times, you will see that the relative frequency will always move closer and closer to the theoretical probability's answer. So the theoretical probability in this case is a half. So the more our trials are, the more our relative frequency will move closer and closer to a half. Okay, so that is essentially the difference between relative frequency and theoretical probability. Alright, so there's that video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you have any questions, please add it in the comment section below or any recommendations for any future videos. And yeah, this is then it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.